James Israel. And uh, my guest tonight is uh, musician activist Brian Rogers. And we're going to be talking about all kinds of things. Uh, but first, let me tell you about our sponsors tonight. We have Pizza's Pizza by the Slice, including low-fat, vegan, and gluten gluten-free options, as well as a fine selection of beer, wine, and soft drinks. We thank them for supplying pizza for the crew. They're on 21st Street near Capitol Avenue in Sacramento. And the Humor Times, which bills itself as the world's funniest news source. The monthly political humor magazine is available worldwide by subscription in print or digital format. A special post-election issue out now aims to salve the tattered hopes of peace-loving people everywhere. Order the issue now and find more info at humortimes.com. We'd love to hear from you. If you're on Facebook, please check us out at facebook.com soapbox sack and give us feedback and make suggestions. Join the conversation there. Also, be sure to check out all the past shows. We have an archive of shows on our YouTube channel. Just put soapbox Sacramento in the search box and uh, it'll come up there. So we hope you'll comment on the shows and share what you find. Last but not least, we'd like to thank our great volunteers behind the scenes here at Soapbox Sacramento, without whom this show would not be possible. So my guest tonight is musician activist Brian Rogers. How Hello. are you doing tonight, Brian? Oh, I'm doing just fine. All right. Feeling good. Good. Glad, to, glad that you were able to stop by. Me too. Thank you, James. It's, uh, we're actually taping on this night of the super moon, be mm. big, beautiful full moon out there. This show will actually air next week, so. But um, it's a beautiful, beautiful moon out there. Something and, uh, about moon and Taurus or something. I'm not yeah. sure how it all goes. Well, the last time we had a, a moon like this, you know, super moon is when it's the closest to the Earth. It's been in 60 some years. Mm. The last time was actually another surprise election. That was the Truman Dewey. Oh. Election. This yeah. is a really special night thing. Yeah. I'm really honored so to be that, here. Isn't that kind of cosmic how, how things go? Always. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so anyway, um, you have done a lot of things. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was you recently traveled to Nicaragua. Yes. With a group called New Sam, N U S A M. That's correct. Uh, which stands for Nicaragua. Nicaragua. It's hard to say, How right? Do you say that? <laughs> After we went there, I say it differently now. Nicaragua. Yeah, Nicaragua. It was Nicaragua. so smooth. Anyway, yeah, U.S. Uh, Nicaragua, USA musician. Yes. So that's what that stands for, and uh, we have the website uh, we could put up there for you. Um, and while you were there, you recorded 67 songs. Yeah, that's about right. Of uh, 25 local artists. Correct. For free, and you recorded that for free. And so the whole idea is you go around, or this organization uh, goes around and records local indigenous people and then helps them raise money by putting out a, a, a recording, right? Exactly. Basically, we are a reflection of our saint. <laughs> His name is Joe Baker. And uh, I met him years ago, and he just kind of keeps us all in the loop in terms of musicians that he's known from way back in the day. And he called me to do this. That's exactly it. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> we go and we, we brought some school supplies up front. We recorded the songs audio and visual. Make, we're making a documentary. Okay. And all the proceeds will go back to help with them with some more school supplies. So is the documentary going to be just about this Nicaraguan trip, or is it about the other ones as well? Because I know they go to, uh, well, the I guess New Sam is a project of a real purpose. You got it, yeah. It's okay. under that real purpose umbrella. And the real purpose has uh, organizes international collaborations between traveling artists from the United States and local musicians in host countries. And so you've gone to, or that organization has gone to... They went to Haiti. Jamaica. Jamaica, yep. Uh, Ghana and uh, Johannesburg, South Africa. Boy, I wish I was on that trip. Haiti. Uh, are there any more? I think you got it. Haiti, Jamaica, Ghana. This is, I think, the third year that they've done something like this. Not in a row, but the third okay. travel. And, uh, and yeah. did you go to any of those or just the Nicaragua? This is my first year. He called okay. me up. and I, He called me for Jamaica and Haiti, but I already was booked out months in advance, so I had to regretfully decline that one. Okay. So, yeah, we did this one, and that's what, what the documentary will so be So the about. documentary is just about the Nicaraguan trip. You got it. Um, and when is that coming out? 
we're actually trying to decide whether it's going to be Christmas or next year. Okay. I think we're going to lean towards starting 17 off. And where are you going to, where is it going to be shown? It's going to be shown at a venue called Oshkenaz in uh, the Bay Area. Okay. But we're still trying to figure out a Sacramento venue, too. All right. Yes, we and love Sacramento. And then maybe spread to other cities as well? or Hopefully we get to talk to uh, Charlie Rose after this interview. <laughs> well, that's that's go. our goal. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are, do you plan on, like, applying to festivals, try to get it into any music or uh, film festivals? That is a, that's a good question. We, we bonded so much on this trip, um, not just the USA musicians, but also the Nicaraguan musicians with us. We would like to go visit some of them down there, uh, bring some of them up here. Right. And all of us on the USA side of things, we already do play together regularly. Uh, festivals, that's how I met Joe actually, was in the festival circuit. So I don't know if we were gonna directly call it Newsom, you know, when we go play as a group, but we'll be under our other aliases. Okay. You know, it'll be our USA thing. Um, we have a few photos we could show from uh, from that Nicaraguan trip, and one of them is of Joe Baker that I got off of uh, one of those sites, but I think that might have been a, on a different trip. I don't know if you'll recognize. Let me uh, see if I can help with that. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's Joe there. That might have been an, one of the African. I think that was the first one. Yeah, that okay. might have been Ghana. All right. Um, and then we have a couple more there um, showing the Nicaraguan trip, I believe, if they come up. But anyway, um, so the, the uh, documentary, there we go. That's yeah, you that's and us the at the team airport there. Okay, before the airport. we went. <laughs> right. um, the uh, documentary sounds like uh, really exciting. I, I would love to see it. Um, do, you, do you plan on showing it online? Oh, yeah. We're going to okay. have it available for download. Um, nice. ASAP. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's still great. editing it. Joe's very particular. Great, great. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping to get a clip from that, but uh, I oh, guess that, that didn't happen. Yeah, I, I left him a long message. Yeah, that's like, all right. You can't mess with the <laughs> baker. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, and I, I know how it is with the editing. I've done, yeah. you know, a little tiny bit of film editing. I know it's it's really hard work. So. Right, respect. I have the same, <laughs> same outlook. Um, by the way, you can also uh, hook up with New Sam on their Facebook page, uh, facebook.com slash New Sam. 2015. You got it. So, we got to um, update that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. What else? Um, why don't you, you're going to do a couple songs for us tonight, I understand. Absolutely. Uh, yes. On, on bass guitar? Yes. Uh, you feel like doing one of them right now? Absolutely. Right. Uh, just to give the audience a little premise, because they are probably not used to seeing a guy with a bass guitar. We talked a little bit about this. Yeah. Uh, I'm well, leading your own song on the bass guitar is you got is, it. Uh, yeah, as opposed to the ordinary. acoustic guitar right. guy, right? right. Um, I, I just love bass so much, and so I'm just going to do it. I think it's a little more quirky and funky, and you know, we'll see if I can get through this song on, on a bass today. You know? <laughs> All right, it'll be an Sounds exciting great. thing. Sounds Here we go. Great. So you're just going to relocate here. Exactly. Thank right. you, sir. Right around that way. Much appreciation. Uh, sure. In fact, this song is called I Appreciate. <laughs> And uh, I bet the Nicaragua trip indirectly influenced the writing of it. The community over there is so, I don't know, we'll, hopefully it's amazing. It's so amazing. This All is right. kind of about community and just appreciating people. Imagine that we're gracefully letting go of the past as a people Appreciating what it gave us and realizing that evil Is nothing more and nothing less than what lies within But the bombing, shooting, or burning that kills a kid Can make you want to kill the one who did it But I clearly see now that it never ends So I'm just gonna do this The time has come for me to transform from inside out And trust that I'll handle any emergency without doubt But if all I have is now, then <laughs> why stress it? If my challenges were just lessons, then I'd expand with greater joy and faster personal growth than I ever could by pointing a finger under oath. And yes, I do believe in the armed forces of the land. However, 
Navy, Marines, military, G.I. Joe, Uncle Sam might one day become a concept of child's play. But if it were the year 3000, I believe in yesterday because I was born in 1983. Put here to be here now, and my nickname is even B. So I got life to live, happiness to stop pursuing, and sense to forget. I like it, I love it, I'm happy, I appreciate. I like it, I love it, I'm happy, I appreciate. I like it. These are the words that bring me joy. I appreciate, I like it, I love it, I'm happy. I like it, I love it, I'm happy, I appreciate. This life has taken me towards a greater belief for all our sake. In the musical talent effect, the viral avalanche of love, I'm lucky to be inside the vortex. And I'm happy that it happens, not because I choose a genre. I market it seamlessly, nothing's easy, ask Obama. That was not overnight fame, he knew the game. He was already a professor of its rules before he became a candidate in a vague race and then he made it solid as signs with his name on it lawns front to change but by just being there Barack loosened the chains so mental freedom it is imagine if I could truly get tamed I've been consistently lifting mental weight and soaking up only the sermons and the small talks it feels great but I live in the jungle so it ain't always a walk in the park sometimes I'm naturally high sometimes I gotta force the spark and I am fortunate with questions about my own philosophy like the same sun shines on all but some some people just don't eat. Do I believe in destiny? I can't say, but it's no accident the way I look, nor must it be the words I say. So I choose, and I can't feed a nation or force another to. And I can't be salvation for my parents or you. I like it, I love it, I'm happy, I appreciate. I like it, I love it, I'm happy, I appreciate. I like it. I'm happy, I appreciate, I like it, I love it, I'm happy, I appreciate, I like it. <laughs> All right. Very thank nice. you very much, sir. Yeah, appreciate you. that. My pleasure. That's great. I'll smoothly move. Uh, yeah, go ahead and scoot on back there. There it is. If you can. All right, so we'll have you do uh, another number in a little bit. Cool. Stay tuned for that. Looking forward. Audience. Um, so another interesting thing you did was uh, you opened for Bernie Sanders. Yes, sir. At the Sacramento uh, Amphitheater there. It was the Boney Field at Cal Expo. At, at, uh, okay, Cal yeah, Expo. It was so fun. And uh, is that where they play soccer or they I did think so. before? Or? Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so that was a, a big turnout at that event, and yeah. um, here's a picture of you playing, and uh, we actually have a clip of you and Joe. Oh, Joe Kai. Uh, and he was playing violin. That, of course, um, And you guys were doing... Uh, Star God, Spangled Banner at this point. This was it Star Spangled Banner, or was it God Bless America? Oh, um... Uh, I think it was God Bless America, can wasn't it? You see on the dogs of was it not? Life. I thought it was. Well, anyway, we'll find out. Let's play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's Star Spangled that, was, uh, that was in simpler times, you know, oh. back when <laughs> there was hope and uh, <laughs> everybody thought, wow, this Sanders guy, he really talks for the people. It's interesting exactly. because the, the whole Trump pheno phenomenon really paralleled the Sanders one. And on one side, here it is. That's probably playing it for a while until you're listening, hopefully.
I wasn't there. I wanted to go. Um, actually, we were taping that night, as I recall, or else I would have been there. But um, great. yeah, that that, uh, that looked like a lot of fun. You said you were uh, we were talking uh, earlier, and you said that uh, you played some other songs there as well. Exactly. Yeah, we did a whole probably a set. forty-five minute set, forty minutes. Okay. Um, we played a couple of other Bernie rallies. They had us in Oakland and Vallejo, uh -huh. but the Sacramento one was special. Really. Yeah, well, because they had us on the same stage as Bernie. Oh, okay. The other ones, they had, like, a little side stage. Uh -huh, so right. it was weird, like, all the crowd was faced towards the main stage, oh, okay, even though no yeah. one was there yet. But it yeah. was really, like, all for one in that moment. Right. felt like what it must have felt like during the 60s or something. Yeah. yeah I don't know. Was, Feeling the love. Yeah. From the crowd. Love. And that was, you know, it was a very hopeful time because he was doing so well. And um, he inspired so many people. And it seemed like, you know, he could he could do it. He could get the nomination. But... Of course, that wasn't to be, and we could talk about all the reasons why, but um, of course, the Democratic Party, uh, in retrospect, might have been a lot smarter to nominate Bernie Sanders, because Perhaps. he had a lot more positives, yeah. didn't have all the baggage, he was pol polling much better. But anyway, uh, what happened happened, and uh, yeah. now we have uh, the uh, orange Mr. man going <laughs> to be taking over. Uh, Mr. Trump. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. All right, well, let's not get into that. We're, we're going to well, talk I, more positive stuff here. I will say one positive thing, a, yeah. a, a positive aspect of you know, Mr. Donald Trump's election yeah. as president-elect. Uh -huh. um, because, you know, obviously I enjoyed Bernie Sanders because he brought everyone together. Right. And whereas we, we perceive Trump, and it is very true that that's the division. However, in my personal life, like since in my life, since he's been elected, I've been doing a lot more reaching out to mm -hmm. talk to people who might be from rural America, see what the, what's really on their mind and what the word, really get behind the word racist and see what it means to them. It might mean those city people, it might mean something else. Like, mm -hmm. let's right. devalue that word and try to really talk to each other. Sure. I, you know, maybe I'm being just as judgmental. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Just thinking out loud. Well, you know, uh, I see your point. I think um, in, in a way that, that it, it is good for that reason because it's going to make people on the left work that much harder. They're not, they're not going to be complacent, yeah. which I think we tend to be sometimes when we get our guy elected and then it's like, oh, we can kind of just think about other stuff. Drink some wine. Uh, yeah. yeah. When it's really, you know, democracy is a full-time job and, and you really should stay um, stay at it and working for, for your favorite causes because, you know, that, that's what it takes. That's what we're here to do is um, help people. Le leaders least. don't really lead. They, they follow the will of the people, I think, if, if we really make it known. Agreed. Uh, so stay engaged, people. Um, so uh, let's see. What else? Another thing you did was you went to uh, the Folsom Prison. Yes. And uh, played a gig there for the prisoners. Yes, we did. Tell us a little about that. That, um, well, for, first of all, funny story about that is that's the second time we've done that. Me and my buddy Justin Farron, another duo. Uh, we, I love to play in these duos. <laughs> we went in 2007, and just a little opening, a little premise. Uh, I didn't know, but I wore jeans when, the first time we went there. You're not supposed to do that, oh. I guess, because they mix you up with prisoners maybe who wear jeans. It's mm. weird. So they gave me a jumpsuit to oh, wear wow. in there. Huh. And like 
it was a, just a real surreal experience to be amongst prisoners in a jumpsuit. And uh -huh. They're all clean shaven, and I was looking rough that day. <laughs> I was like a prisoner bum. <laughs> I felt funny. So I knew that I, this time I did not wear jeans. Like, right. wear slacks. Uh -huh. They're not giving me that jumpsuit again. So, yeah, we went there. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. it was great. They, they, the prisoners outplayed us. We did a set. They loved it. We loved it. It's just like, let's just be ourselves, man. We're not going to change the set. And they played, uh, some prisoners played music also? They took the stage, and they really had something to write about. Yeah. And it was interesting to hear what, you know, a lot of those guys are just trying to be spiritual and exercise and just keep out of more trouble. Right. And they're really kind of, you know, a lot of them are doing really well in there. Uh -huh. I mean, just from our little limited hour, what's spent with them. Right. Taking the know. opportunity to maybe try to turn their lives around. Yeah. Not to say they're all happy to be there. But right. <laughs> Probably not. No. No. Um, <laughs> well, you have another tune for us? Absolutely. Well, change places again there? Indeed. All right. This Make time sure we got you don't it down. Get tangled up there. Perfect. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yep. Thank you. All right. And what's this song called? This song is called Pre-Faded Jeans. Ah, speaking so, of jeans. Yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. It's a little older, and I chose it because, ironically, it still seems to apply. And um, it's kind of funny. That's, this is an older song, and I played one of my newer ones earlier. So here we go, Pre-Faded Jeans. Toilet, cause it was clogged with all the BS I've been taking in the fade and smiles of jubilant people breathing in this weird air that becomes more abrasive by the breath. I sign the eyes and ears and nose of every dish mouth just ain't working no more cause he's good at heart. He cleans his hands before every meal and prays. He wouldn't give his umbrella up to a bum in the rain, but hey man, that's okay. Cause barely any man's a saint at heart. And plus, he ain't afraid to fart and plus, he never heard a man. He's got a baby on the way to be named after him. Rarely would a man like this have any reason but the best to live, the best he can, if not for him, for Jim Jr. His wife's the same, but for some dumb reason, she could not hang this one time in an elevator. She was plain afraid of the brown man standing next to her. See, everyone's afraid, searching for that brand new creature to blame, living like a braid, roots attached to fake extension. So, so many to blame, wearing pre-faded jeans to fake the past. Oh, yeah. While she shook, the man thought, maybe if I bring up the Dow Jones, she'll stop drowning me in sweat. Or maybe if I go with the flow and start rapping, she'll run away. The brown man shows the ladder and showed up at the next floor. Beep, the lady shot off like a loaded wing. And as she got smaller in the brown man's eyes, he spoke aloud to himself, why today? And when the lady finally ran out of breath, she ended up at her husband's feet. She told him the whole story of the suspicious man on the elevator and the terrible feelings she got from him. And because Jim, her husband, if you didn't know, had broken ears and eyes and nose, he couldn't hear, see, or sniff the truth. And Applied only jive that didn't even need to be spoke. Well, he's good at heart. Yes, I'll give him that. He was just raised in fear. And to Jim Jr., he'll give it right back. Well, hey, no, you don't say, put me back. And I shine on you, baby. Oh, yeah, you don't say, just put me back. And I shine, yeah, everyone's afraid Searching for that brand new creature to blame Living like a braid Roots attached to fake extensions So, so many to blame Wearing pre-faded jeans to fake the past Yeah, everyone's afraid Yes, everyone's afraid Just come out and play. Nice. Thank you, that's sir. Uh, that's real fitting for these times, I think. Yeah. Strangely well, enough, yeah, wrote a lot of people are uh, kind of fearful right now. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, just come on just, out. Just people, man. Yeah. Yeah. We're just people. <laughs> just talk. <laughs> just get together. Spend some time. Is what I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, that's how we heal the divisions. I think. Yes, sir. I think you're right about that. 
Well, uh, excellent. Um, let's see. How will people uh, know when this documentary comes out? We are going to, well, I'll do my part by yeah. shouting out Spread to my email list and right. running ads on Facebook. Um, um, I guess if people go to that Facebook page and like it, yes, then they will know. They will know. They'll see announcements from... Uh, from that, so it, uh, yep. once again, I don't think we have that on the to put up on the screen, but it's facebook.com slash newsam, N-U-S-A-M, 2015. You got it, yep. So, uh, oh, there it is. So um, you go there and uh, just like the page, then you will get notified when that, um, as that documentary comes out. Indeed. And, uh, and we'll get Charlie be, Rose to shout it out great. too. Yeah, yeah, get Charlie. Uh, I'm sure you know Charlie watches this show for tips, so uh, you know I'm yeah. sure he'll, <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be calling you anytime now. Yeah, I look forward. Um, but um, that's going to be great. Uh, do you know how long it's going to be or anything? It's yeah, I think it'll be around. Or? Yeah, about okay. maybe hour, hour and fifteen, All something right. like that. Yeah, right. looking forward to that. Um, do you have anything coming up you'd like to announce? Any absolutely. Gigs okay. um, they can go to. Uh, my website, brianrogersmusic.com. Um, there's an email list form on the front. I love emailing my list once every week or two with a new video, a new blog post, a new vlog post. Um, there's there's going to be a tour coming up probably in April. Okay. So uh, we'll be building up to that, some new songs, and uh, this documentary is probably one of the bigger pushes between now and then. Oh, yeah, uh, great, great. Uh, any idea where you'll be uh, touring to yet? We're Nobody probably stops. in uh, Oregon. Okay. Southern Oregon, Portland, um, I might make it up to Washington, but probably just a little road trip more than a tour up to Portland. Any shows around the Sacramento area coming up? Um, yeah, this is always the, why do I always forget? I'm like a fish. <laughs> All I can remember is the last three seconds of, of uh, <laughs> right. but if they go to brianrogersmusic.com slash shows, okay. I have stuff up there and right. brianrogersmusic.com slash videos all the stuff they need. Great, well, uh, I'll be sure to come check you out. Looking forward. Uh, sounds like a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Um, so, what else here? We got a few minutes, another minute maybe. Um, Nicaragua, just to say, yeah. was, oh my goodness, Nicaragua was, was actually, it's like we had this discussion prior to going there. Right. He interviewed us and it was like, what are we gonna expect? We didn't do anything we expected to do. It was just about people drumming, having fun. It wasn't political though, it was just people, you know, and just seeing people giving them a chance to be on the microphone. A lot of people just play acoustically and don't have that opportunity. So, uh, well, that's the show. Thanks for watching, folks, and uh, we will see you next time. So, Fox Sacramento.